let's work on part C in this video. So what we have here is a production, which is the minimum between A times K and B times L. So we can see that we have an example of a perfect complement. So we want them in the same proportion, meaning that in part C we want them to be in the same proportion. Let me just crop this and solve it below so we can we can work out the math and prove everything with more space. So we take that and we put it over here in question C. Now, because we want them in the same proportion, so we want them in the same proportion, AK must equal to BL. Meaning that if we increase capital or if we increase labor, it's not gonna give us more production because they go hand in hand. Probably we need the same uh, number of employees per machines or in a certain ratio maybe we need two employees for every machine we don't need the third employee for that machine it's just redundant that's the idea here now what's gonna happen if what's gonna happen if we are going to increase we're going to increase the capital by a certain proportion well we're going to have now the proportion of c added to our capital and the proportion of l added to our labor so we would have we would have the following shape of the function we would have the minimum between between a times ck and b times cl but the same logic applies we need them in the same proportion we would need this two in the same proportion a times c times k must equal to a times b times l sorry sorry uh, b times c times l now what we can see mathematically is that the constants are going to cancel from each side because it's an equation meaning we still have we still have the uh, we still have the a times k equals to b times l so we can see that the relationship did not change the production over here is the same production as if we increase it by a specific ratio and i hope this makes sense because that specific ratio forces us to increase them in the same amount so the actual the actual production is not gonna change so in other words it's all nice and good but in other words what does that mean well if it if it doesn't increase and it doesn't decrease it it, it, it changes by the same proportion we're having constant returns to scale over here now let's have a look at part D, at part D, so here is part D, let's crop it again, this is our function, we're going to see what that hap what, what, what kind of uh, returns to scale we have over there, so like that, and uh, let's solve it here below. Now this is the regular function, let's see what happens if we will have an increase of the proportion C in capital, capital and labor so c k and c l well we would have the following we would have four times c k plus two times c l now what we have is a addition of two terms with a common factor c and c is a common factor so we take the common factor and we would have left from the first term 4k plus 2l from the second term what is 4k plus 2l well that's our original function this is our original Q, so as a result we have C times Q. And what do we see over here? We have the same increase in the inputs by the proportion C and the same increase in the output by the proportion C, meaning that this is another example of constant returns to scale. Let's leave it like that for this video. In the next video we'll finish off the last two questions.